What's up guys, it is your boy Gilaj here back here with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the fleet classic or a split screen effect on Surf Factor. Now this effect is really easy to do and I recently found out how to do it. I recently put that in my montage if you haven't seen it in the top right corner and I got so many requests saying do a tutorial on it so here it is. And before we actually get into the tutorial, I do want to say thank you all for 12k subscribers. I was taking a little break and scheduling a lot of videos so there's going to be a lot more content coming soon. And also school just started for me so I'll be up in class and I'll be like... Good morning Jay. Um, Good morning man. Jay, Jay has been very disruptive in my class along Go with a few other Go put that students. playstation in man, my room no, now. Sorry. And also to keep in touch with me when I'm not on YouTube, go ahead and follow my socials. And you can join my Discord to be a part of this awesome community. The links for those are up in the description below. And yeah, that's really all I have to say. Let's go ahead and hop into this tutorial. So first, like I always do for tutorials, I'm going to state the requirements. The requirements you see on screen is the stuff you will need in order to do this. Right now, I have no clue if you could do this without a USB. So it can be possible, but for the moment, I don't think so. So a USB and a computer is required to do this effect so if you're watching this tutorial right now let's just say you already have your clip and you already have your replay mode clip ready to go now all you got to do is record the cinematics first things first you're going to go ahead and go to career and go to replace and then hop into your replay mode clip now i stated this in previous videos before but i still get this question a lot if my replays are not saving what do i do first things first go to settings click r1 and go all the way down make sure these three things are on if they're not Make sure record replays is on. If it's on and you're still not getting your replays, turn all of them off. Reinstall Fortnite and then turn it back on. Right now, that's the only method I know to get your replays back because I tried it and it worked for me. So hopefully it worked for you. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into replay mode. So now we are up in replay mode and now my PS4 is starting to sound like a jet engine. But anyways, from here, what you guys want to do is find exactly where you want to do the split screen at. So go ahead and find the kill. And bro, my PS4 is so loud i cannot wait for the ps5 holy but yeah so go ahead and find exactly where you get the kill at okay so i'm at the part and as you can see i am actually finna kill this guy and this is where i'm going to do my split screen at i don't know if you guys know this or not but every time someone does a split screen effect there's always one cinematic before that and it's basically like a slow turn into the character for example something just like this personally i like doing it it makes the clip look clean you guys don't have to do it but for this tutorial i'm going to be showing that and the split screen so just in case you want to do that too to make your montage look a lot cleaner follow these few steps so the first step is you guys want to go exactly where you finna kill them this is a really good spot to do it at especially since i'm pulling out my pump it will make the montage look clean so what you guys want to do is put your stuff on drone follow 0.10 speed and change your camera speed to 0.1 if you guys are wondering what camera properties to use here's the ones i use i recommend this one because flea and milliam uses this of course the properties changes according to what you're doing but for cinematics like this this is definitely the best option so i definitely recommend this but anyway now it's almost time to record and one thing i have to say before i actually record this one of my biggest pet peeves I see in montages is that they show their FPS in their cinematics. Please do not do this and you guys ask me a lot how do I change that, how do I fix that. It's a really simple fix, all you guys gotta do is press options, go to settings, and it's right here. Every time you do a cinematic, please turn this off. Seeing the FPS really ruins the vibe of the montage. It's just really tiny words but it makes the cinematics look really weird. But please turn it off. It makes your montage look a lot better. But anyways, yeah, we are ready to record. Don't forget to have it on drone follow. Oh, and by the way, we're not pressing triangle or nothing. We're not playing it. We're just going to keep it still right here. So keep it on pause. And yeah, after that, you should be good. You guys can start from either side. It doesn't really matter. All we're doing is just a motion just like this to the middle. I usually start from the left side because I read left to right. <laughs> Okay. But no, in all serious, I do start from my left side. In my opinion, it just looks better and feels better. I don't I don't know. I don't know. You guys can do whatever y'all want. Right to left, left to right, it doesn't matter. And just a quick little tip. This cinematic will end once it gets to the middle. But once you get to the middle, do not stop. Just keep going around and around. So what we're gonna do is just go all around just like this and then trim it up in Safe Factory to get the cleanest look possible. But yeah, this cinematic is really easy to do. It's not as hard as the other ones. So yeah, we're finna record to go to the right slowly just like this and don't stop in the middle just keep going around just like this 
and yeah you're good and that's literally it for the first cinematic you guys can hold the share button and then save clip and then you guys are done with that so since we're done with the first cinematic now we got to do the actual split screen cinematics these are a little bit more difficult to do but it shouldn't take you that long to do because you're not moving your analog stick at all with these so instead of drone follow you guys want to put it on drone attach and since we're doing the split screen effect pick a side to where your character wants to be I usually put my character on the left side and then the enemy character on the right side. So you guys don't want to record your cinematics like this for this. You guys want to record your cinematics just like this. So since my screen is going to be on the left side, it is on the left side of the screen. If you record in the middle just like this, it's going to get cut. So please just do it like this and you'll be fine. But anyways, like I said, just press L3 and press play. And yeah, go ahead and save that. And now we have to record the cinematic for the other player. So to make this easier on y'all, just go over here and press X. And keep pressing it until you get to that character. It will give you all the characters in that area, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I'm on him now. And now I'm going to go exactly to where he dies. So as you can see, my character is jumping off right now. So I'm going to go on the right side just like this. And yeah, that is literally the perfect position in order to do this right. So just press L3, remove all your hood, and just press play and don't move your controller at all. And yeah, that's really it. Now you have all three of your cinematics and the rest is just done in Share Factory. But this is where the computer and USB comes in. The only thing you will need from your computer is a green image. If you guys are wondering why can't I just use a green screenshot from Share Factory, it will not work. I've tried it and it does not meet the right proportions that you need. So you guys will have to go on your computer and download a green image. But before you go do that, I made it easier on you guys. I have a link in my description. It's a Google Drive link. Once you guys get on your computer, get back to my video and go into my description. After you go to my description, click on the link and it will send you to a Google Drive with the green image on it. Right click on the green image and then download it. And then of course, import it into your files and then put it in Safe Factory. Now, if you guys are kind of confused on what I'm talking about, there will be a video in the top right corner right there. If you're all confused, go watch that video. I'll further explain it there. And if you're still confused after that video, look at the video in my description. That will further help you. And one is about the green screen and one is about the files. So if you are confused, go ahead and watch those two videos first. But anyways, if you guys know what I'm talking about, do not put this in the video or the music tab. Put this image, of course, under the image tab so you can save it as a stick and make the right proportions so like i said if you guys are confused go watch those two videos but if you're not and you're ready let's go ahead and hop into share factory so now that we're on share factory go ahead and create a new project pick a random theme it doesn't matter which one you pick click off all of these and choose one of your split screen cinematics for this example i'm going to be choosing my cinematic for my character the one that's on the left side so i'm gonna go ahead and choose this Go ahead and find exactly where you want the cinematic to start. So for me, it's definitely going to be when it starts moving. So about right here. So I'm going to split clip, delete the rest. So we're going to press trim clip. Look at the bottom right corner and keep moving your right analog stick all the way until it gets to two. When it gets to two, then press X and then you're good. Now after this, we're going to add our grain image. But before we do that, we're going to go to clip volume and we're going to turn it all the way down. If you keep the clip volume on there, it's going to sound really weird. So just turn it off. And now we're going to go exactly to one second and now this is where we're going to add our green image so if you guys did the important and stuff correctly you still have it in your stickers but like i said if you had a little bit of trouble go ahead and watch those two videos i said earlier but other than that press x go to add overlay go to imported images and this is the green image you should have so we're just going to select it put the duration the two that's fine and what we're going to do now is we're going to use l2 to turn it just like this and then we're going to move it in the right spot so it makes the split screen effect so don't forget try to make it even your split screen could be vertical or whatever it doesn't really matter as long as the other character is sewn you're good so i'm gonna have mine exactly right here and once you get it to the right spot go ahead and press x and yeah you're basically done when you do that cinematic as you can see it's my cinematic then it's going to be the other player cinematic and yeah that's really all you have to do for this go ahead and export the clip 
now that is why we're exporting it and that's why i said go into a new project when doing this for example say if you're doing a montage you don't want to do this and then try to export this with your montage export this in a different project and then go back to your montage to do this part but since i'm not working on a montage currently i don't have to go back to my montage this is just a tutorial so that is the reason why i'm staying on this project if you guys were wondering but anyways now you can go ahead and add your gameplay clip and the other three clips so now we have our other three clips up in this and the first thing we're going to edit is our gameplay clip wherever you want the gameplay clip to start go ahead and split it right there and then delete the rest go a little bit forward and then go exactly where you want it to split and the cinematic to start in my opinion the gameplay clip needs to look the same as the cinematic for example right here i have my pickaxe out but the cinematic has this pump out so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move a little bit forward until i bring my pump out and now i can add the cinematic because i know the clips are aligned like i said little details like that makes your montages a lot cleaner so what we're gonna do is we're gonna split this because we're gonna need it later but we're gonna go to our first cinematic we're going to go when it starts moving so about right here this is about where it starts moving we're gonna split and then delete and then we're going to move this over here just like this and now the gameplay clip starts and then that starts moving and like i said we were going to edit this up a set factory so it moves just like this and then right here i'm gonna split and then delete now this is a little bit too slow for me so i'm gonna go to time bitter and I'm gonna actually speed this up by two. And as you can see, that is a lot better. But anyways, the gameplay clip starts. That goes in like that. And now the reason we exported that other cinematic was because we are going to use that as a green screen. So go ahead and press X, go to add track two, press X again and go to add clip. And then find your exported clip, which is going to be about right here. Click on it. And right when the green comes up, that's when you want this clip to the left right here to end. So we're gonna play it. And as you can see, the green comes up about right here. So we're going to move this all the way to the end until this clip on the left goes out. So it goes out right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press X, press square, go to pip layout, full screen, press triangle, X, and then green screen. And now after that, we're going to get our other cinematic, which is the other player. We're going to go exactly where it starts. So it starts moving about right here. I'm going to split clip and delete. And then I'm going to move this clip all the way to the end right here. So as you can see, it goes like this and it splits. So now we have the official split screen. We're going to turn the volume on the cinematic because like I said, the volume kind of ruins it for the cinematics. And now we're going to go exactly where it splits. So we're going to use the right on the D-pad in order to change it. And it stops about right here. So we're going to split right here and then delete. And as you can see we have a split screen now these cinematics in total are about four seconds long so what i did in my montage was i exported it split these two and then i time bended it so it looks better so i'm actually going to show you guys that now because that looks 100 percent better than this so we're going to trim this gameplay clip all the way down because we don't need the rest of it and now we're just going to export it but for you guys you guys might be exporting your whole montage which is fine but anyways now we're going to create a new project and then you're going to choose your new exported clip and you want to go right when the cinematic starts so it starts about right here so we're going to split and then go to the other end where it ends and it ends about right here we're going to split and now we basically have three clips we have the gameplay clip in the beginning the gameplay clip at the end and we have the cinematics for the cinematics we're going to press square time bender and then we're going to two times smooth it so now everything is just two seconds so now once we press r2 or play it goes cinematics so that's basically it if you get to this point in the video comment norcal j i'm currently grinding for norcal and if you comment that you might appear in my next video so who knows but anyway if this video helped you guys make sure you guys hit that like button don't forget to subscribe for notifications if you guys are new and like i said in the beginning of the video don't forget to go follow my socials join my discord we're 637 strong there i'm really active in my community so i'll always be up in my discord and yeah that's really all i have to say i'll see you guys when gta 6 come out i'm just kidding it's never coming out. But I'll see you guys very, very soon. And you guys have a great day. Peace.